Are you tired of Microsoft tracking everything you do on your PC? From telemetry to targeted ads, Windows is watching more than you think. In today's guide, I'll walk you through powerful advanced steps to reclaim your privacy and block tracking on Windows 10 and 11 the right way. Let's get started. Disable telemetry via group policy. First, we'll disable Microsoft's telemetry services through group policy editor. Navigate to computer configuration, administrative templates, Windows components, data collection, and preview builds. Double click on allow telemetry, set it to disabled, and click apply. This blocks most of the background data sharing. Turn off advertising ID and activity tracking. Next, let's shut down activity tracking. Go to settings, privacy, activity history, and uncheck store my activity history on this device or send my activity history to Microsoft. Now go to privacy general and disable all toggles related to advertising ID and content personalization. Remove bloatware and spyware apps. Many pre-installed apps in Windows can send usage data. If you have watched my previous video on debloating, you can do this step easily, but if you have not, don't worry. I'll make it easier for you and run along with the commands again. To debloat your system, you can use tools like Windows 10 Debloater or do it manually with PowerShell. Open Windows PowerShell using administrative rights, run the following command. I'll paste it in description. This launches a graphical interface with safety bloating options. Here you can safely remove any Windows apps you want to be gone. You can also wipe out telemetry and Cortana using this debloater. Disable Cortana and online speech recognition. Cortana and cloud-based voice services also report back to Microsoft. You can either debloat it using advanced settings or use a more friendly interface way to get it rid off. Go to settings, privacy, speech. Turn off online speech recognition. If you don't use Cortana, go to group policy, computer configuration, administrative templates, Windows Components, Search Disable Allow Cortana. This will remove the assistant and stop related telemetry. Remove built-in apps that track. Now let's debloat your system by removing apps like Xbox Game Bar, Feedback Hub, and others that are often sending usage data. Open PowerShell as admin and run the following commands. Get APPX package Ustry Xbox. Dastris remove APPX package. Get APPX package Ustra feedback Dastris remove APX package. Be careful, only remove what you don't use. This step improves both privacy and system speed. Six, block tracking domains via hosts file. You can also block Microsoft's telemetry servers directly. Open the host file, go to C drive, Windows, System32, Drivers, etc., Hosts. Open with Notepad as administrator. And add entries like 0.0.0.0 vortex.data.microsoft.com 0.0.0.0 telemetry.microsoft.com There are large block lists available online too. Just don't go overboard or you may block Windows Update.
7. Using DNS tools for network privacy. Another advanced method is setting a privacy-focused DNS service like NextDNS or Control-D. These let you block trackers and telemetry from the network level without editing your host file. Setup is free and takes just a few minutes. Go to your network settings, Set DNS to 45.90.28.0, 45.90.30.0, or use a custom configuration through their dashboard. Eight, optional tool, ONO ShutUp 10++. If you prefer a GUI to manage all this, check out ONO ShutUp 10++, a free portable tool that allows you to toggle every privacy setting from one screen. But be careful, some changes can break features like Windows Update or Edge Syncing. I recommend you back up before using it and only disable what you understand. 9. Final Checks and System Audit After making all these changes, restart your PC. Open Task Manager and check what's running in the background. You should see fewer active processes and reduce network usage. You can also check the Windows Event Viewer to confirm that telemetry and data collection services are no longer active. And that's it! You've just taken back control of your privacy on Windows. If this helped you, make sure to like the video, subscribe to my channel, it really helps me a lot, and I'm keeping my goal to 2,000 subscribers by the end of the year. And let me know in the comments which tip made the biggest difference. And always ask questions to me via my email, which will be provided in the comments below. And if you're up for even more control, check out my next guide on mastering group policy like a pro. It's linked right here on screen. Thanks for watching, and stay private, stay powerful.